Hello and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda and today we're going to do a canvas with mermaids. I have this collage book. It's Fantasy Forest and Mermaid Cut Collage. I got it on Amazon and I was flipping through it. I'll put a link to it down below. And I saw this page. Look at these mermaids. They're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. So this is my inspiration. We're going to work with these, do a mixed media collage fun page <laughs> with this one. I'm not sure if there's perforation to take it out, so I don't want to rip anything. So I'm just taking my X-Acto knife on the other side and gently running it down the spine. And I will pull this out. If it pulls out other ones, that's okay. I'll just leave them in there. Look at these, so pretty. All right, before we get to these, now I cut them out so that I can use them for color matching. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all three or not, but this one's my favorite. So I'm definitely going to use her. I pulled some of my, I've got a paper plate as my palette. I pulled some of my metallic paints that I have, and this is, um, let's see, a deco art, and I've got folk art, and all the arts, all, everything. <laughs> I just have a bunch. Um, Craft Smart, who knows? I use them all, they all work. They're all acrylic paints, they all work together. So I think um, this one is ice blue, and uh, the, I'm gonna paint the background. And I want a pale blue in there. I do want a darker blue, so this one is blue sapphire. I think that'll work. A lot of this is gonna get covered up. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use the teals because I'm gonna go more in the blues. So the teal and the aquamarine I'm not gonna use. This one is pewter. You know, a gray will be nice. This is teal topaz. Yeah, once again, I'm not gonna use the teal. I have a gunmetal gray, but that's close to the pewter. Um, and then I'm gonna take this white pearl and I'm gonna use this as well. Sometimes you gotta shake them up. All right, let me move this. I have my three color, four colors, and we're just gonna paint a background. Let me move these so we can kind of see. I'm just going to be grabbing, and I'm gonna start with a light color and put it on your brush. I'm using, um, I don't even know what it is. Three quarter inch, it's a Cinnabar brush. You've seen me use these before. I use these all the time. I'm just using the same brush and we're just gonna paint a background. All to get ready for our pretty little mermaids. So excited. And um, just go to town. If you find that you're blending your colors too much, dry it in between and grab another brush if you need to, which is always fine. I'm kind of going at an angle just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. And I'm gonna take this light blue and put it everywhere. And yeah, let's paint. <laughs> I'm not really a technique with this. It's just slap some paint on, break that blank page because sometimes the white page or the white canvas or whatever you have is a little intimidating. You just see this white canvas and you just think, what am I gonna do with it? And I find that sometimes the easiest thing for me is just to put paint on the page or the canvas or whatever you're working on. Even if you cover it all up in the end, just put something down and you'll start to feel better. So the background is all painted, looks very pretty. It's shiny, so sorry my light is uh, shining on us. You can't see it all, but that's okay. There was some papers um, in that collage book and I ripped it. Look how pretty this paper is. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like it's got glitter on it. Of course it does not. It is so pretty. So I'm pretty happy with this collage book. Anyway, so I have some double sticky tape on the back and I am just peeling it off so I can stick it on my canvas. All right, 
Now, of course, you can use Mod Podge um, or glue or glue stick to adhere this down. I just use double sticky tape because that's what I have. I have my two mermaids. I'm going to put two of them down. And then I'm going to put all kinds of other things around. Now, I'm using uh, double sticky tape on these as well. And once again, you can use Mod Podge or glue stick, but this is kind of nice because it's not going all the way to the edge. So if I need to lift up a piece and put something underneath it, I can. So it's not going to limit how I collage, but I do want to adhere it down to kind of get them out of the way and kind of get my composition going. So yeah, this is, this is what we're doing now. As you guys have probably seen on my channel before, I love mermaids. This is not my first mermaid thing and it most certainly will not be my last. <laughs> I have a few more mermaid journal pages that I'm going to uh, do because they're in my mind. I do love mermaids, but we're going to kind of put this one here. I'm not pushing it down all the way and I won't really press it down until the end until I've got everything on there. And I have some other collage elements. We're going to build it up. We're going to put some seashells. We're going to put some flowers. We have little pearls that we're going to put on here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So, all right, let's get this on here. All right, I have a hot glue gun and I'm just going to place some seashells, some larger ones. Where did I get these seashells, you ask? I have no idea. I've had them in my stash forever. All right, so I've got three big seashells going on. Then we're going to start adding, I'm actually want to add a little flatter of a one. All right, three big seashells and we're going to glue them down. Then we're going to add some flowers and I have these, I don't know, these are pretty, there are two kinds here. I have these that are really sparkly little gems and then these are more like little pearls. If I can find where I bought them, uh, I'll link them down below. And I've got a few of those I'm going to add and I'm just going to kind of move the camera along because it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. I have little beads. They do have a hole in them so you can string them, but I don't care. They're little fake pearls, definitely fake on those. I have flowers. These are Prima flowers, which I'll probably use. These are a Botanica collection. I don't know where they came from, but I will probably use those. I have some graphic 45 flowers I might use. So wherever you find flowers is just fine. Um, you know, use whatever you have. I have some Prima flowers, some more Prima flowers. Use what you have. I know sometimes there's some, mm, I think, um, I don't, I haven't seen many of the, the, like this kind at the Dollar Tree. I think I got this from Michael's and it was maybe $1.50. So I think, I don't remember the brand on that because the package is long gone. So look around, flowers are around, see what you can use. And uh, yeah, let's start gluing things down. I'm Alright, so I have all of the roses and flowers and seashells on the bottom and I think I like it the way it is. Um, one of the hints I always give people is sometimes it feels like this is a lot to do and people get overwhelmed and they don't know what to do or they start overloading it with too many things. I always say separate it into thirds or even by half. And I started with this little area here, filled it out, then I went over here, and then I kind of filled in the middle. And that really helped me break it down and so I wasn't so overwhelmed. So now I want to add some dimension around the Little Mermaids here, um, the, the little fish bowls or whatever they're in. I have some gelatos. I have metallic blueberry, silver ice, gold champagne, and metallic icing. I'm going to start with the blue. I'm probably going to do a combination. I probably should have done this before I added everything, but I didn't know I wanted to. So here we go. We're going to add it afterwards and that's okay. You know, that's usually the way I roll. Um, 
I'm going to put some around. I'm going to rub it with my finger, smear it around. And like I said, add some dimension. I'm going to try to get some in here. kind of see how uh, it adds a little bit of dimension with that so I like it a lot and add a little more gold as you hold it up in the light and shift it around I put more of the white toward the inside I've got the gold here adding a little bit of dimension I'm gonna take a little quote from my favorite Tim Holtz ideology small talk one of my favorites see possibility everywhere or uh, miracles happen when you believe that's perfect with mermaids that's the one I'm going to use and we'll stick it, kind of nestle it here. I found these at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's their Crafter Square and I really liked these. They're shaped like little teardrops and I thought the blue, so let me see. I might, I like how they're um, connected like a teardrop with a little gem on top. I think that's super pretty and I thought maybe I could sprinkle them up top. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so I have them up top like this and I want to kind of connect the two. I thought these were kind of pretty like little little teardrops coming down. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to take just the little blue circles. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it off and it's connected by a little piece of adhesive on the two and I just want the circles because the teardrop is all done and I'm just putting a few down here so it's like the raindrops or the water kind of flowed down. Whatever. It's my imagination. Whatever it is. <laughs> so um, I'm going to add a few of those and then I think we're just about done. All right, there we go. It is all done. My Little Mermaid art journal canvas, whatever we want to call this page. So cute. I do like the way it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.